is Tuesday tweaking some tag time. We're going to start on my side because she wants me to put down the embroidery thread in the slow stitch circle business that, you know, I'm becoming known for. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> At least on our channel. <laughs> That's funny. Yes, scarf. Just, it, yes, new scarf. Scarf, scarf. scarf. And did you move your magnifying glass lamp thing? Have you been using it? Because yeah. it's like, yeah, I knew it was moved. Okay. Anyway, this is P over here. M over there. Patricia. Mariah. And together, we, we are PM Artist Studio. Please do say hello in the chat so we can say hello back. Otherwise, we do not know that you're here. We'd like to know that you're here because we are extremely right. friendly. All of our arty friends here in the chat. If you are seeing the chat and have access to it, that means you are in the live. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. And if you are new, please subscribe to the channel. Do all that YouTube business. Ring the bells, notifications, you know. Wing, ding, 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 ding. Anyway, do all that business and then you'll get notified, hopefully, according to YouTube. But anyway, I also, the reason it's nice for you to say hello in the chat is so that way I know that I can, you know, read your name on the list. Because that's how that shows up. Participants. And we've got 42. I'm getting but... ready, giving scraps ready for my scrap swap partner. Wonderful, because yes, you do owe them some scraps. I, 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 I did your remember that, size. but you know, sometimes I... I've moved her camera forward because we're starting over have here. Have a lapse. Yeah. Am I too... too... You're wonderful. I love you. Is that... You're doing a spectacular job. I'm waiting for the participant list to, uh, to like, kind of catch up the things. Oh. Hello, everyone. <laughs> There's 20, 20 thumbsies upsies. Oh, yeah, and we got 41 people here. Yeah. Come on now. I, just... I'm going to be sharpening pencils periodically. <laughs> can I at least read the name list? Periodically. Spirit, can you just simmer for a minute? Sure. All right, we've got Tutu Holly. That is Tammy, Angie, Art, Arkansas Crazy Quilter. That's Dawn, Barbara, Becky, Betty, Carrie, Darcy, Dana, Deb, Eddie, Ellen, Erna, Griffin, Shell, Ron, that's Rhonda, Isabel, Jeanette, a.k.a. Jeanette, Joni, Miron, Kathy, Leslie, Lori, Lydia, Marguerite, Marina Lay, Panka, Ricky Nordmeyer, sorry, Sheila, Star Traveler, that's Linda, Sue Davis, Susan Fernandez. All right. If I missed you, wasn't on purpose, just give me the pinky hello hand. I think so, the, the list wasn't really moving much today, so, you know. There we go. Yes, Eddie did. He put out a video where he's talking. He had an afternoon that he could put together a video where he got to talk. I it thought was he was lovely. moving. Well, he has. He, he's at his temporary location now. Oh. But he lives with people, and we know what that's like. Yeah, we do. It's harder we, to... We, we live with people here. We do. I just... Your head being so big is really... Thank you. Yes, if you could just sit back a little bit. Not How's that? Out. That's better. <laughs> I like just a caught giant that. melon. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're making it seem bigger than it is when you come in hot like that. Okay, so did I miss the talkie? Oh, yeah, I, he just posted it, like, I think, yes, today, yesterday? I don't know. It all runs together. And I'm sick. She is, and she's a little, ever so little bit I've been whiny. A little, yeah, a little whiny, a little grumpy, a little annoyed by people. Just breathing. More so than usual. <laughs> you I'm know, loud very, breathing. I'm very annoyed. She's actually said that to me. Why are you breathing so loud? And I'm like, well, damn. <laughs> I mean, she, she does. Just hold off on that for a while for you, Mariah. Sometimes I feel bad about it. <laughs> I didn't notice a whole lot of, uh, mm -hmm. what, 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 is, what is the word that I want? Uh -huh. Yeah, that word. Okay. Uh, Queen P, I wish my hair would curl in such a nice manner the way yours has done. I'd oh, be so thank much you. happier. It just comes naturally, sweetie. I don't do anything right. except get out of the shower and towel it off. Oh, I do put some... I use the same lotion on my skin that I use on my hair. <laughs> you mean... Because I have an itchy scalp. Yeah. And it, 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 it works great. Good stuff. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get started here because we're going to go top side here and then we'll move the camera. I know y'all love that. It's so much fun. It's like being on a roller coaster. 
But we have to start over there. Yeah. Now, what we need to talk about before we ever get started here. Do I need to go top side, though? On your side, yes. Yes. Please. Okay. Because gonna... then people will know what I'm talking about rather than just have to do a visual. Sometimes my words don't build a very accurate visual picture. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try to bring that right to the edge. See, those are that's the tripod thingy that hurt. You're chopping off the top of my head. One moment, please. There we go. See? Why you keep telling me to sit up straight? There, that's better. That's that's. Good. Like I said, it's 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 hard to keep you pegged down. <laughs> well, I am just that kind of person. But I don't like to go. Well, I don't have the room to do it. You know, super wide. Anyway, there you go. Yep. There Is you there go. a right requirement for the right today? No. <laughs> nope. Yes, I will. I will. Uh, I'll, I'll try to warn people beforehand. Sometimes I forget and say it like while we're, you know, moving the thingy. Right, oh, gonna... yes. Okay. Now, wh where's the ones that I gave you the other day? Right here. Oh, I didn't give you the... Um... This is what you gave me. That's that. what I gave you. Okay. All right, now you just tore those apart, and I had them together at the spot where they needed to be. Oh, I didn't know that that was a... Oh, they've been moved around a lot anyway. You need well, to re no, I need to re reposition them because that's wrong, what you've got going. Let me get some of this crap tape. Did you want them like wings? <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm going to hand them over so she can position them properly. Oh, here, little oh. Miss... Snaggle tooth hair <gasps> wants to show you. Oh my anymore. goodness! She pulled it out. Oh, she came in with it today, just hanging. Oh, look at that little sweet little tooth. Oh, so tiny tooth. Oh, here I have the top cam. Look at that little. Uh, yeah, it looks like it a little bit. Yeah, because you pulled it. No, I bite it. Oh, you bit it. You did what? I she bite bit it, it down on the thing. Oh. Oh. Because it was like sort of like hard and it like. Oh, you please. You please. You please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We've documented the moment. All right. I love you. Why Why are you sopping wet? Were you. Because cause I was, it was like bleeding a lot. So Whoa. I had like. Okay. Well, you can change your shirt so you're not cold. Yeah. <coughs> Here, JG, she wants you to look at it. Oh, yeah. Look I tell you, y'all are the best tiny. audience in the whole wide world. Oh, my god! Putting up with our shenanigans. That is pretty funny that we ended up wearing the same colors today. We didn't plan it. No, we didn't. Okay, give me she a kiss. She has a purple shirt under hers. And I kind of accented with green. I have my Alaska shirt on, and it's really grody and everything. But Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you wash it out? Be careful not drop it down the... Down the uh, drain. <laughs> Move along, Toothberry baby. doesn't fetch him there. And oh. hello, Carla. Let's see, SWL, hello, that's Sherry. And then we got Leah, hello, Leah. Did I miss anybody? Pink hello hands. I Veronica is here. Just SAG, that's Sarah. Trisha Dewey, hello. Apple's here. Okay, I think I've hit people, you know, most of y'all that kind of snuck in there while the tooth shenanigans are going on. All right, so have you, oh, she's putting the leaves together. One moment. Well, I want you to get out the, um, because we've got to talk about which one of those inks we want to use, those distress inks. Okay. We have quite the collection now from Leah and um, and Jennifer. Okay, I think that's that's how I had it, more or less. And that'll work. Look, are you thinking the blues or do you want more no, browns I'm, or what? I'm thinking um, purple. Let, let me see. Definitely not orange. And definitely not pink. I want to see purple and I want to see that blue. So. <clears throat> and then the turquoise. Yeah. I think the turquoise is the way that I'm going to go. And here's my reasoning. If you look at that top leaf. Oh, do you have the leaf stamp? No. That would be helpful. That, that kind of is a visible. Mm -hmm. Hi, Lynn. I was wondering where you were. 
It's over, Granny. That's Lynn. Bud. Where is my little leaf? Oh, goodness. Looking for stamps. Looking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> Dagnam it. Dare I ask, did it end up back where it's supposed to be? Uh, I don't think so. That's a no. I don't think so. It, it was here mm -hmm. the other day when I was re-adjusting everything and... And I put down new paper. Yes. So it got shuffled. So it got shuffled. Well, maybe you should just go ahead and start on the... We're very excited. Tomorrow might be the first day we get to try the new machine. Yay. Oh, Mo knows where you can find it. You can find it in the shop. Have we got any extras now? There? No. There, there's hardly uh, any um, such a thing as extra stamps around here. I mean, we do have some inventory of things, but... All right, well, here's what we're going to do. Well, that's the big one. You want the, the big, big one? one? Yeah. Okay. If you just stamp over them, it's going to be fine, I think. Not worry about edges. You want me to hand you my icky board? Uh, I don't care. My paper's kind of messed up anyway. I don't really care. Do, do, do. Y'all, uh, you gotta talk to everybody. Uh, okay, I am talking to them, but I'm still looking for. Is this the same? There, is that it up there? No, I thought so too. That's the heart. Okay, so, um, please explain to me what I'm supposed to be doing. You're, you're stamping, mm -hmm. and you're putting the clear, or no, you're putting on, I think, the violet. You the want the one we mix The mix. Because if you look at that, that, um, yeah. pardon me, leaf, I'm thinking that's what the deal is. Yeah, this is the mix. We're going to go with the mix. Okay. Very good. Um, and you're going to use the light blue. Okay. Let's see what happens, y'all. Let's see what happens. Oh, here, you want a piece of paper? Um, It'll be a lot easier to deal with. Than... Uh, yes, I will need a piece of paper to do the thing with. That is for sure. So, talk to people, read chat, oh, are you I'm in sorry. there? Yes, oh, okay. hello Sharon. Hello Becky. Oh, she has a story. She went to the DVV today to get, what's the DVV? We call it the DMV. Is yours the DVV or was to. that a, sorry, uh, that was a weird thing to key in on, but I understand what you're trying to say. <laughs> New plate sticker, we don't do those here in Texas either because they just, you know, basically, wither up and I wore my nerd shirt and wore grass foot and I told him I swear all the tro troublemakers got you gave me money <laughs> oh. uh, who is this I oh who wore their shirt to work okay anyway oh that's what she was saying <laughs> that's funny that's a funny if you know you know and if you don't you don't good golly did you see that I was about to stamp things backwards and I don't really even know why my brain was going there on that. Oh, well, Darcy's making stuff. She hasn't done a video yet. Okay. If you are not a leaf stamper, you should be a leaf stamper. <laughs> Thank you, Mo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Oops. There we go. Hey, that wasn't too bad. Okay. Uh, I mean, come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. I, I don't think it needed to be right on anyway. I think it's much more interesting a little off. A little off, like all of us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is a leaf stamper just an aggressive leaf hopper? 
Could be, could be. Just want to make sure the leaves you're hopping on are sturdy enough to... Do you want a tweezer? I got it. I grabbed oh. the tweezer. I'm going to leave it like that because I don't want to tap off too much, so... Yeah, no kidding. Because I don't mind the little, yeah. little things there. How it gets grungy looking. It is. Okay, well that's on there. Because uh, I'd rather heat up the thing once rather than having to... Yeah, and that is a good point. Arkansas quilter. I like <coughs> the shiny stuff a little off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I, I have something else to show you today that I've been working on. All right, on. so... Same thing. No little leaf? No, just stamp the big leaf right on top of that booger. You need more on your thing. Yes. I want it very juicy. Wow, you are very bossy. I have ideas. She does. Did y'all notice I got my hair cut? Uh, I'm already loopy or out by the time it happens. Okay, the uh, I don't know. They're talking about something. I don't know what it is. A little off. Perhaps another t-shirt. I'm a little off. <laughs> Uh, okay. Hi, Eddie. I, oh, Eddie did a long haul this video. Yeah, that, that, that was the video. Oh. Okay, I'm going to go with that. I didn't want to press it all the way down because I didn't want it. I don't know. Uh, you don't have enough on it. Don't, don't be all, you know. Okay. Afraid to get some stuff on there, I'm honey. Get some stuff on There we go. Excellent. Now, look at that. Don't forget to put your paper down. Boy, you are just you're on top of things there, Patricia. <sighs> Appreciate it. If you're not into aggression or the wah, then leave it alone and turn over leaves with this printable paper. <laughs> I, oh, I love it. No. Oh, that was great. Look at me, just, yeah, right into the little thing there. All right. Boom shakalaka. One more to go. So you're, you're, you're just going to say, you're, you're getting them all done so that you can do the wah all at once. Yes. I love it. So is there anything else that needs to yeah, be wah? Yeah, sure. Just stamp that up. Good. Oh, good God. Hello, Raven. Colleen. We haven't called on you before. Am I did notice, and it is cute. I don't know what. That's Colleen McKinnon. McKeeman. Is it Keeman or Kimmel? Colleen. I know, but she said that she noticed. Oh. Oh, your, your hair. Yes. Thank you, Colleen. She's not used to always seeing everybody in the chair. No, I'm not. Stamp it real good, Sharon says. <laughs> and this is your first rodeo, you know. Oh, y'all are just being so cute. <laughs> Who, who, who said that? I'm not going to tell you who said it. Hey, you just fix, you just concentrate on your job at hand there, and I'm taking care of this. Oh, that was Sherry. Oh, come here, Reading. Sherry. Ooh, look at that. That was good. Oh, yes, it is. Excellent. I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couldn't have done better if I tried. <laughs> Putting that there business over there. Oh, Susan, she's not worried about aligning on these. No. Because we're using the wrong stamp. I can't find the little one, so we're having to use the big one for everything. The, the little one done R U N N O F T. Oh, it's probably here somewhere. It might even have, you know, fallen down in between stuffs. Mariah has a lot of patience. Yes, she does. And somebody else said they've got your back. Thank you. Hi, Elizabeth. She, she has clappy hands for you, Mariah. Yes, yeah, size matters in almost everything one way or another. <laughs> so Brad and I were talking about that yesterday. Something with the laundry or something, I don't know. Anyway, and he's like, well, it's not bigger. I said, see, that's where men think when we say size matters, that it's got to be bigger. It's just size matters. It's not about no always being big. Sometimes it's the little things that count. That's right. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. Size matters alignment does not. In this case, that is absolutely yeah. true because, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, here we go. 
Oh, have you heated it up? No. Have you heard me turn it on? No. Well, there you go. I didn't know you needed to. I learned Short that. Short and fat is where it's at. <laughs> well, I'm sure that that's what that? people say when they see me coming. <laughs> that's the shirt you need. <laughs> Short and fat, that's where it's at. That's why I'm here. <laughs> what you need? What you need, honey? Funny, funny, funny. Alrighty, we're gonna turn that around so I can hold it from that end. You know, when I was doing this, it, uh, I'm telling you, there's a little bit more to it than. Uh, it's kind of like uh, spreading butter. Yeah. Number one, you don't know how close to I didn't know how close to get. I, I was holding it way up in the air for a long time and nothing was happening. I was going, okay, I need to reevaluate the plan here. Uh huh. And then I got too close and it ran. It, it just kind of bubbled out and flattened, flattened out. Yeah. So, you know, this, this is, um, yeah. It, 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 you get better with a little practice. All right. There we go. Dunsy onesies. And the reason they're kind of sticking to my thing there is because, you know, this is like freezer paper, so it does heat that up a little bit. And what other products under there? This is the shizzy knit, this mix. It is. It's perfect because it's not too much purple. It's not too much blue. It's just perfect. Oh, here, I'll let you look at them and then... Um, do you want me to glue them down here? Oh, you don't no. watch out. Those little boogers are hot. I like to glue them down. Okay, well, so that'll happen in oh, yeah, that, when that, we move the camera. I think that's your very best job. <laughs> there you go. Here's your... Because remember before, I can't remember what we did exactly. All right, hand the other leaves back that I'm supposed to be doing, you know, gluing down to. Oh, That you yeah. were putting back together. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay, so now what's the whole plan here? I guess I should have taped it down on the opposite side. Huh? Probably. But that's okay. I can do that. You know, I'm st it's still not this, this color that we got up here. I don't know how we did that. Well, I think, again, we probably used a different ink. But, you know, I, I actually think that's quite pretty, personally. I like it, too. I'm going to like it just because it's done. There you go. That's the right and attitude. And you know what, what I can do? I can come in with some turquoise around the edge. I wish I could find my dead gun. Can we peacock. focus on the, um, God, I feel like I'm talking to Isabella. Could we please focus on the task at hand, which is me with the camera over here, putting some kind of swirly business that you wanted. What does that mean? I, I need direction. Oh, I have a picture for you. Okay, wonderful. Okay. I want the swirls to go opposite ways. I know that doesn't sound like much, but I honestly okay. think that will help for stabilizing the the back and forth movement. Okay, so you want me to run it across? I want it because it running across. That's it's what you're doing is you're holding them together because it's going to be a quotation. Okay. It, the quotation is is in two segments. Okay. Um. And I don't know about color either. Um. How about this stuff that I got right here? Because it's here. It is really cool because it's, look, it's got orange and gold. Well, I don't hate it. Do you think it's, 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 it's strong? Kinda, it, well, it's kind of camouflaged on this one, but. I, I mean, don't know. I, I like it. I mean, if you're willing to give up your Either fancy, that or I think it's. Fancy string. Um, yeah, I don't exactly remember where that came from. That happens a lot. Now, we do have some wax linen in there also. Yeah, or I can get a, get, like, purple section of that. God, that looks beautiful, doesn't it? It does, but I don't want you to take it out of that because you'll be destroying the continuity of the... Why? I do that all the time. You better not have on that one, because I'm going to 
crochet with that. I'm going to make a hat. No, you're not. You don't know that, Mariah. <laughs> Why you just say these things? I do say these things. This she is, just says those things sometimes. It's just words coming out of my mouth. And I hope you're not, you know, getting it all tangled up. I, I think it was kind of already there a little bit. But you can and I don't want any of that fuzzy stuff. Keep yimmery yammering at me. Uh, fuzzy stuff is relegated to that. Not okay. more purple. Hold on. The binder. No fluffy stuff, she says. Well, I just think it's going to be getting caught up on jerking the leaves in and out. Yeah. You don't want it getting caught up when you're jerking it out. Yeah. That. How about this? I mean, I know it's kind of fluffy, but... Oh, my God, I just love this so much. I've used this before. It's got everything. Give, give me a strand. I'm just looking at a wad there. <laughs> what are they saying? Oh, yeah. Miriam says she's sending hats this week. Oh, Miriam. She can send you fancy cord if you want it. I mean, that's super sweet. God knows. We really just don't need anything. Oh, Alice, book arrived. Alice, it's here. Oh, my goodness. And that's she why I was it. almost late today. Because I was sitting here reading it, and then I okay, suddenly looked at the clock, and there it's 2.30, and I'm going, oh, holy schmoly, i got to hurry up. Okay, here, look. Because I had to bathe. Look at that. I was disgusting. That is wonderful. Okay. I think that's it. That's the winner. I love that stuff. I've used it a couple of times. And, you know, the other thing <clears> that I, I thought even if, if we wanted to, maybe, it, and it could come later after I've got the words down, is to go ahead and take another piece and glue it to the center point and then maybe have a, a swirl around okay well we can burn that bridge when it comes we can burn that bridge when it comes betty says i love the mother daughter back and forth i know it's it's really okay because she is my daughter and um i she can talk to me like she wouldn't usually talk to anyone else and vice versa There we go. See that picture there? What? Keep moving on me. Actually, that, it, it does have wool in it, but it's a composite. It, it has other things in it besides wool, I think. Nylon and uh, All right, should rayon. I, I, I'm thinking I start the center point here. Okay. And then come on. And then when you come across, you're going to go the opposite. Very good. Okay. Very good. Uh, you got it. She's got it, y'all. Okay, what do we say here? Uh, T-shirt alert. You don't want it caught up. Yeah, that. Well, it is very soft. That. I'm going to trim that. This is trickier stuff than my, you know, regular embroidery thing. I need the little pokey tool. Where? Okay, I'm trying to find it for you. Well, here is a pokey tool. It's not the one I wanted, but it'll do. Now that I got a little bit of glue on that, that's going to help. Okay, very good. Yeah, those little those little errant strands. Uh, they cause problems. Cause some problems. But really like this. Now that once skein of variegated that Mariah wanted to cut the purple out of the middle of it, that is from a, the Taos, New Mexico Wool Festival. And it was when Mariah was in high school. So that's how long ago, that's how. And, but it's in there, and it's been in there with patchouli sachets. And it smells so wonderful. So that it doesn't, the moths do not like that. Well, I'm struggling. I don't know that I've ever curled The one this that one. I don't want Mariah to use is, is pure wool from sheeps grown in New Mexico. That's the one I really like. 
I should I should send that to Miriam and have her crochet me a hat. That that's probably the only way that'll get done. Outsourcing that. I would like to do it, but I I, I don't know how to do it. Mm -mm. I I kind of am a wool snob too, but you know what? Wool on my neck isn't mm -mm. isn't what I like. So I I'm a lot more about the textural feel of something rather than you know the, mm -hmm. the content that's looking good Mariah Yes, patchouli sachets. What I do is I I used to collect old handkerchiefs and anymore, I don't know what happened, but they don't have them at Goodwill much anymore, but I, that's where I used to get them. Plus I started off with some from my great grandmother. She used to always carry hankies with mm -hmm. her in her purse. And some were fancy and some were functional. But anyway, you take them and you, you um, put a layer of cotton cotton ball fleece type stuff then you sprinkle in lavender and then you put drops of patchouli oil inside there and then you close it up with a a string or something that you can um, untie and refreshen it because after a while you know it kind of loses its oomph especially if it's out in the air now, the ones that are shut up inside those totes and kind of the air doesn't get to them, they're just as potent as the mm -hmm. day I put them in there. Patchouli is one of the oils that actually gets more fragrant and whatever with age. Aged patchouli is much more valuable than, you know, fresh off the vine. I don't know if that they come on a vine. I don't I think patchouli is leaves. As I recall, someone can, you know. Can y'all confirm or? Confirm or deny. Yes. Get okay, us a note up. Proper like. I'm still looking for peacock over here. Hey, you need to focus in on chat. Oh, I'm a spinner, weaver, knitter, and crochet. All the fiber things. I'll make you a hat. Apple. I love it. If I send you, my, send you that skein of yarn, will you do it? I will do it. I had a 104-year-old client that had a bedspread made of ladies' hanky sent to her mother by uncle from World War II. Oh, wow. Oh, I love stuff like that. <clears throat> oh, and I'll tell you what apple I also have is I have um, raw wool. I have some angora. And curlicue lamb. So, if you any, are you any of you are spinners out there? Oh, Eddie's high school English teacher smelled like patchouli. You know what Mariah said when we were walking around once, and I don't know. And she's, and we were smelling patchouli, and she says, "Oh my God, there's actually a smell like that." I thought it was just old hippies. <laughs> you know, old hippies have it. Special smell. Oh, and Becky says, yeah, she was a manager of a yarn and bead shop. She is. It oh, hurts. Leslie puts rose oil in her gesso. Oh, my God, you can do that? <gasps> I'll put patchouli in mine. What is my head size? Well, I have a very large brain. I don't know. I'll have Mariah measure it and get it to you. And per Patricia says, I can't wear wool. I can wear it. It's just that if it's right on my neck here, it's it makes me itch. Okay, I hope this ends up being everything you hope and dream it is. I'm kicking oh, myself Christy for this. Hartman has a collection of hankies that I purchased in Europe back in the early 80s. Well, they make lovely sachets, and they're so... Um, I, I have sachets all over the house. 
Eddie says, Pinky in the brain, and he's laughing. I don't know why. Is that funny? <laughs> that's, a, that's a pop culture that you don't get it. It's fine. Okay. You don't have to. Okay. Now, opposite would be... <laughs> You can add any essentials to paste. I love it. Carrie, I, I think I, I like wool. I just don't like it next to my skin. Exactly. Now, that's not true. My, All right. I would wear okay. wool socks. Can you focus okay. for a second? Because we want it to come around like this, right? The opposite way is going at the top. Yeah, I think that's. I struggle with this sometimes. Heavens, I, I, I know. I do also. And I don't know, the way you're doing those, you might have room for three of those little things. I am not doing three. You're not doing three? Mm-mm. <sighs> I knew she wouldn't do it like I wanted her to. Oh. Oh. She, she um spins her Pomeranian's hair into yarn. Love it. Y'all are so our crowd. Oh, my gosh. That is just wonderful. <clears throat> um, my two servers at the universe towers. I don't know what that means, but okay. Eddie says it's looking good so far, Mariah. Thank you, Eddie. Oh, Patricia, can you please show your hanky sachets one day? Oh, sure. I mean, I can. Oh. I'm sure there's one right around us somewhere uh -huh. here. I'm sure, well, there was probably one in that yeah. thing that you just drug it out. It smells amazing. Um, I don't know. Let me go see if I can find one. I have them in my drawers. That she do. Fighting with this little thing, but I'm gonna win. I think. This one's not a very cute one. Most of the ones that I, the cute ones are downstairs in the big bins of. Yeah, I think that's one of my yarn. old napkins. This is one of Mariah's. Right, isn't it? Yeah. And it has a linen content to it, but you can see it really has a cool kind of. Um, Oh, what do you call that? Not brocade, but something in it. But this is just a raffia tie. I'm going to untie it and show you what the insides look like so that you can see. And I know you can't see this because of Mariah over there, so I'll hold it up. And I don't want to dump this out because I know that there's... <laughs> this doesn't look very appetizing. I'll wait till she's finished and then I'll show you the insides there. Are you kind of deciding that the thread is the way to go rather than this furry yarn? I I mean, I've done it with this furry yarn stuff before, but not made twirly bits like this. So this was a little extra. But I got her done. See that? Some and Leslie said she loves the leaves. Some now, guests. they probably just need to stay that way for a little They do. Little all right, bit. so all done on my side? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you what I send them over and I'll show them the sachet and then I'll show them what I'm going to do with these leaves. 
here and I'll let y'all see this real quick and I'll decide how I'm gonna I think this looks really cool okay very hard um, stuff to work with but I think well worth the the aggravation of it okay so moving camera I was trying to think about how to do this nicely for y'all I can go straight to the P cam at least get it over there and then I'll move it back because I have to see it to position it but yeah let's well, do that well if you hand it across to me one second you just swing the arm yep I'm moving hold on I'm not allowed to touch it unless until I'm <laughs> don't touch it Which, uh, and, and, mm, stop touching it. <sighs> this just this looks kind of nasty looking down on it. It's kind of like it does. It kind of looks like something the cat puked up. <laughs> there we go. Like it better in that position. Okay, Hold this on. lavender you can order it by the pound. I used to order it, I think, on Amazon. But I actually put the oils right in the middle of this little thing so that it absorbs into the cotton rather than, you know, getting into this and, and touching something and having the essential oils actually damage something that you're trying to preserve. It's why I do it that way. I mean, there's no real reason other than that. Mm -hmm. And then I just put little drops of patchouli down in there and tie it back up. And shove it in the drawer. <laughs> you know, it's it's really not rocket science by any means, but since I've started doing this, I haven't had problems with moths. I had a beautiful cashmere sweater. And went uh, down on the moths. But I didn't throw it away. I thought it would be a great grunge look, you know, to actually crochet around the holes mm -hmm. and make and emphasize the holes. It, it's over in the storage. I might get it out and fix it for Izzy. There she you might. go. Okay, be ready to. Would you like to see your leaves? Oh, sure. Oh, I think they're going to be wonderful. I just, I'm just hoping that, um, yeah, they will. Because I might close them up and then stick them in because I think that they're going to work better that way. I can also take them this way and put them in. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Got options here. All right, we'll just let that dry flat back over here. There we go. And let's talk about what we're going to do here. I can go ahead and glue these down, but I'm just going to tell you right now. All right, do you see? Mariah kept saying, okay, I just don't think that's finished. Mm -hmm. And when she says stuff like that, even though I may not agree with her at the time, <laughs> it, it sticks in my brain. <laughs> and then I convince her. And, and, she, and, she, and she doesn't push it because she knows. You know, that's one of the things that you learn from somebody after a while. She doesn't talk to me when I'm really um, upset because it doesn't do any good. Because it's a uh, very mature way to deal with things. Yeah. And she just leaves me alone and comes back later. Okay. So I love this. And I want to get some of that going out here in, in different places. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is my um, peacock green. Okay, so you put down a little peacock green there. Mm -hmm. Then you come back in with a light color, say, this kind of powdery blue. Make sure it's pointed. You hit that peacock blue, and it's going to kind of 
morph out into some of that stuff. <laughs> See what I mean? I, yeah, I think that that's going to be a good one. And I'm really, I'm liking that. Now I might go with, let's try a little of this blue right over here on this edge. I am really happy that it wasn't absolutely on the edge there. Because that gives me a little bit more room to mess mm -hmm. around with the colored pencils. And do some of that. Mm hmm I was Paula going to the store. <laughs> what? Oh. Well, I thought she just got back. Oh, oh, did she? Okay. How is your internet? It seems that, I mean, you're here. That That's awesome. I know she's been having... Oh, vegan curry. Well, I like lamb curry. I'm not, yeah, I don't mind the vegan one. As long as you have lots of chunky um, cauliflower. Yeah, is that your jam? And coconut. Okay, I can, you can see I'm trying to establish a relationship. Yes. And it's a little bit difficult to do that. The other option I have here is to go ahead and put down, I love this because it looks tarnished, mm -hmm. that area right there. And I'm not sure how to do that, so I'm going to have to play around with that. You know, we bit. could go back and watch the, the, the streams. What stream? You know, we have this videoed. I think for the most part. Well, I know, but I wouldn't know which one that was. Okay, now, here is the other thing. You could just take that pencil that you have, the sticky pencil. Yes. And you could go along here and hit this with more of that. Um, oh, but I don't think so. I think it looks really cool the way it is. Do you, oh, that's not what she wanted to hear. <laughs> Would you like me to come along with the pen and fill it in? No. I wouldn't. Oh. Um, I'll just mess around with that when you're gone. I, I don't do this when she's here because she hears me doing the wah thing and she comes up to check on me. But she doesn't think I know how to do things. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, well as moments that, ago, she you know, mentioned that she didn't know how she... <laughs> I'm not going to glue these down quite yet because I really might want to mess around and play around with some more of that. By the way, that green shiny bracelet you have on is mine. It was given to me by Ingrid. Well, I thought the gold one was yours. <laughs> Same. Yeah. They're both mine. Oh. Yeah. So just Well, wanted maybe you to we know. can talk about trading. <laughs> it's always been too big. It is kind of a big one. Usually I wear it behind. Isn't it? Yeah, it's big. I should have reversed these around because this one's a lot, this purple one's a lot smaller than that mm -hmm. one. Oh, I know why I did that because I want to separate the, your greens. The greens, but yeah. oh well, whatever. <clears throat> I do usually have a reason for things. Okay, so <laughs> what I'm going to do with these leaves is I'm going to mess around with them. And you see what they look like now. That's what I really want you to focus on. I want you to focus on what they look like now mm -hmm. and then I'm going and to if anybody remembers what what we did with that other one or which stream it was let us know yeah that would be very helpful extremely helpful would be helpful yeah okay so enough said with that I'm mm -hmm. going to go could I have my little clippy back oh, I've missed something hey Margie clippy. sorry I might I was like why isn't chat moving did you put it back up there oh what your little paper my clip? paper clip thing Right there. It was even on a black surface and I found it. Well, look at you. Okay. <laughs> Mess around with those later. Okay. All right. I want, to, I want you to look at this. Oh, Carla says, Mariah, my friend Laura would like to see the page with the pouch for leaves. Is she here right now? Oh, right now? Sure. Yeah. Is she in the chat? Laura? And I want to talk. I want Hello, to Belinda. Talk. Is Alice here today? Hi, Candace. Did you say? Did you say Alice was here? 
Um, no, but I was just, because she usually watches, I think she usually watches on replay. Okay. All right, here's the pouch. I just have that one stuck in the back. That's, that's where the leaves are going to go. Oh, and I have to show you my other, look. Remember this one? You are most welcome, Margie. I mean, I. Thank you for asking. I mean, I know that's a big that's a big deal. Just to ask somebody. So thank you for asking. What is it, Margie? She said thank you for the email. I finally typed up your notes. See, she hand wrote the notes, and then I talked them up because I'm the secretary at PM Artist Studio. Well, I I, I was just going to take a picture uh -huh, and send it to you, and then you'd have to figure out her handwriting. <laughs> I don't. My handwriting is not that. Well, bad. sometimes it's. Because I can it's tell, hurried. well, whenever you're watching something and then making notes, because you're trying to write, and then uh -huh. oh, you're like, oh, well, pause. I did try to pause it, yeah. but I, I didn't always yeah. do that. <laughs> yeah, and I can't tell you which part refers to which part. Right. You, know, cause you, you didn't timestamp it. No, I no. didn't timestamp it. I think she figured And I, I should have. I could have. Well, next time. It just, it just refers to Technique. similar situations yeah. all through the, the video. Because I think what you had going on was going on. Yeah. Yeah. And I just got to looking at this and looking at these little jobbers here. See, this is this is why you do this kind of stuff. You like just throw stuff down. Look at those little balls. I think some of those little balls on here might be really. Do you know where the balls are? I mean, you found them and then you lost them and then you found them. I think they're over here. Okay. Balls have been. I I, I have. Hello, been... Catra. I have big balls and little balls all together in the same We've decided spot. that the little balls, see, size matters. Little balls are better. Not They are. The bigger much. the balls, not maybe the best. The, the, I'm sure that there's a place for these. Right. But I like the way the little balls line up. <laughs> the big balls don't line up so well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you can kind of see them on the side there. Oh, good. Good, good. Oh. You little rascal, come back here. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I don't necessarily know that I need that. The, the look that I'm going for here is like a plank of wood that's been outside and the water has dripped down it and kind of distressed it. And That's the look that I'm going for. Mm -hmm. And I had to do something like that because I totally screwed up 2024. I used uh, impasto on the carnival tissue. What happens, and I, you know, as she was kind of doing that, we sort of talked about it because when she was lifting it off of the one thing, it's like, oh, it was already spreading, which we should have known. Yeah. Because we knew that. We'd run into that with those leaves or what. Like, we tried to do this before. Yes. Just, you know, we didn't remember. And I think also a, a significant factor, because remember, the zero was a total, looked totally different. This is when the sides of the carnival tissue matter. Mm. You want that absorbent side up. The slick side doesn't take to the, um, it, it, it doesn't adhere to the, when you put the impasto on, it scoots about a lot more on the slicky side yeah. than it does on the textured side. And it looks different. You saw it. It looked different when I glued it down, mm -hmm. too. Tommy in also. So that's what I'm doing with this. And then I'm going to handwrite the names on the back. I was going to go with the ones that you wrote out, but the reason I want to write them out. Mm -hmm. Is because some are big. They're not all the same size. Yeah. And I. Are you just going to put all the names like in an envelope and then tuck it in or something then? No, I'm just going to write them right here on the oh. on the sword. The machete. The machete. The little. It, it's it's a wooden. wooden Weather beaten board. Spanker. There's some okay. weird things happening in this forest. All right, so you can see how this, and I really want you to look at it because the next time you see it, it's going to have more of this kind of stuff on it where it kind of looks a little... How much time did you spend doing bird that? Bird poopy. Lots of time. <laughs> there's three coats There's <laughs> three coats of, of um, uh. texture gesso because I went heavy and hard 
in some places I should not. Uh-huh. So I had to cover it back up with the textured gesso. I'll tell you what, since I've discovered that, my fear of color penciling, penciling is just like, you just, you know, go for it. Because I know I can fix it with the uh -huh. textured gesso. And uh, then I went over it again with uh, one of my washouts. And I don't, I may go over it again with another washout. I don't know. She teased us with the balls, Mo. <laughs> She's what? Mo put in a link to the balls, but you didn't end up using them. <laughs> well, I did here. Yeah, you did. They have been used. They have been used. I like them Just a lot. Just not in this stream. And see, and here's where the big balls were. <laughs> yeah. I had to pick them all off. Well, they started falling off, too. They well, didn't, they, they did. They didn't end here as well. Yeah. They were more rolly. <laughs> big they, balls they, roll more. They, wouldn't, they did not stay in their place. <laughs> Okay, big, no, big I've got this one. All right, right. was what? that good to show? Did I do a good job on the pocket? Yes. Do you want me to pull Would the leaves you, out? In fact, Carla said, Laura said, oh, wow, that almost makes me cry. So thank you. Oh, my you. goodness. That's so sweet. But here's the pocket. You can see it. There's another one. Mariah fixed it for me. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, man, did she match those edges to the... She said such a good job. I'm a good matcher. And this is a piece of paper that somebody sent me. I don't know. I, I don't know who. This is, this is chicken and the egg kind of thing. Rhonda. Hey, Christy. Chicken and the egg. Like what? what do like you ball size. You know, how many licks does it take to lick a lollipop? You know, these are... How many leaves in the pocket? That too. I mean, you could probably put some more in there, but should you? Yes. Is it prudent? Is it prudent? Is it prudent? Uh-huh. Yes, it depends on where you're trying to put them. <laughs> but I think this page looks fabulous. This this pocket. Hey, the colorization. The purplefication. The purplefication. Oh, and that yeah, pocket. I, was I had a little easier to show you what the original looked like. This is what color it was before I started purplizing it. Awesome. And I'm sending my swap partner a, 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 um, a remnant of this. Yeah, Tutu stuff already went to her. Tutu, you already got your stuff, girl. Yeah, you did. And he, I, I sent you some stuff that... Um, Here, show them what we did because we oh, made yeah. it less. We changed right. it a little bit. Mariah went with the uh, shocker hot pink here. No, it, the pink was the pink. I mean, you made it. That was the... Yeah, but you went over it and made it but in, into that, like, brilliant, corally pink. <sighs> so I had to come back on the other side <clears throat> and do a little... Did you even do more? I think you did. I did. <laughs> I had to punch... <laughs> I had to punch up the pink. Punch up the pink mm -hmm. to go with the back, yes. you know. And I had... To go over the yellow here to bring in a little bit more of that golden yellow that happened to end up in the because remember the butterflies were originally white uh huh and they were from that's interesting mm -hmm. because look see they were from this print. okay it's all looking great p that's what darcy says and um oh raven would like us to do a special flip through of the book when it's finished maybe we'll do like a, a, a video video and then that way oh yeah and we can we can post it on and I can talk about why I put the cards where I put the cards and yada yada. Or we can do it during stream. I don't know. Yada yada do. Boo, yada boo. yada boo boo. Yada yada boo boo because I am going to put them in. And then Paula says she agrees with you. It's magnificent. Gorgeous P. That's Jennifer McKinnon. Um, I'm not sure what Marguerite <laughs> is talking about. Uh, yes, swap partners. If you are interested in swaps... Now, this time of the month is not like, you know, sign up time, but if you are part of Makers, that's the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artist Facebook group, that's where many of these lovely arty friends that you see here in the chat hang out, and then there's a bunch of swapping happening. That means we have, um, there's a swap that will be either an ATC, uh, like this month we're doing coins, but then it can be postcards, it can be all sorts of things. And then uh, that's headed up by Becky. Then Rhonda, 
that's Griffin Shale. She heads up the Misfit Scrap Swap. And I think that just is, you know, whatever's on your desk and you're tired of looking at, send it to somebody else. And they're going to send you theirs. <laughs> now, I, I'm a little more selective. I, I send people Premier. You no, know, I think a lot of people send a lot of Premier stuff. I've seen the swap stuff. I personally would just kind of like, I got some grab bags here that I want to send yeah. along. If Mariah's your swap partner, you're SOL because she, I'm not just, signing she does up. just grab it up and cram it in. That's true. I'm a, I'm, I'm less of a misfit scraps. I'm more of a grabber, a she grabber is. bag. <laughs> okay, I wanted to talk about this. Is it all right if I talk now? Anyway, you need to head over to the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists Facebook group. Please do answer the questions. But then at the beginning of the month is when you can sign up. You will have until the 7th of that month. And then on the 8th of that month. They're posted. They're posted. And Maxine did a napkin swap. She doesn't do one every month, but, you know, so there's always some. Okay. I wanted to talk about this again Maybe because it, it brings in the colored pencils. You remember I put the little piece of paper across here because I wanted, I didn't want the words to fight with the image that was in the background. So I, I did that and I covered that up. But then I got to thinking I really don't want it so much to show. So what I'm, I've been doing, and will continue to do uh -huh. until I feel like it's it's where I want it. Pencil sharpener is um, make those edges just disappear, and all it takes is just a little bit of patience, and you can make your that paper absolutely just disappear and those of you that are on your mobile devices if you want you can um, use your little fingers and you can you, you can actually you know zoom in if you're on your mobile okay. device so you see how that works I'm still not totally happy with that and and that's just gonna be <laughs> one of those things one of those things I just keep coming back and I just keep thinking okay do I need a little bit and yes, those mushroom houses are by Michelle Sharp. And those of you that are um, subscribers to her channel, I think sometime soon she will be doing something with those. But she just put out some, um, I think last week or the week before, uh, she used the bird stamps. Her bird stamps. And I think uh, I spoke with her the other day and I'm sure she will have some new things coming soon. All right. Can you see? It's just little bitty tweaky things. I mean, you talk about tweaking. This is tweaky. This is tweaky. Tweaky, tweaky. Some oh. people call this a little obsessive compulsive, but you know. Just well, we all on have who our you talk to. obsessive compulsive about one thing and another. I finally found a cut quote, and remember we talked the other day, and, I, and I'm going to get to Lygius. Edward Gorey, who I, I, I love his art, mm -hmm. it says The helpful thought for which you look is written somewhere in a book. Isn't that just, I love the rhythm of it. Yeah. Baby monkey. Edward Gorey. He, he was kind of a gruesome dude. He had a very... Um, yeah, weird, like kind of like your your one um, dude, that uh, Hitchcock, Hancock. Oh, yeah. Uh, his stuff was weird. A little, yeah, it little was. Like somebody should be asking some questions, maybe. Okay, so... <laughs> I, I, I put a little bit of the washi tape. I'm going to stop calling it crap tape because I use it all the time now. Uh, oh, why stop never, now? Never, ever put it down without glue. It's my... Yeah. That, that's my... It's the glue tape. Caveat. The tape that needs glue. The tape that needs glue. And I'm really thinking about putting a little strip across here. I didn't do that at the time. Um, the tape that I have is ever so slightly... <clears throat> a little bit wide for it, and I'm, I'm, I don't know how to cut it down. So I've got to go through Mariah's tape to see if she's got any skinnier pieces. But remember, this is the leaf that became yes, the plant. Vice is nice, but a little virtue won't hurt you. He was rhymy. He was, he well, that's what he, he wrote. Rhymy things. Rhymy things. Some people write poems. Edward. Poems, and they don't necessarily rhyme. I like rhymy ones. His kind of rhymy, and they're always kind of funny. But look at that, how that fits in there and just goes with everything. Never trust the washi. That's right. Yeah. 
You must always glue the washi. Crap tape, very useful. Just need glue. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Who knew? There we go. Who knew about the glue? Okay. <laughs> so, remember, <laughs> who knew about the glue? I told you I was going to try. This book is going to have at least one example of everything that I made on my mixed media list. That was one of the the things that we identified early on that I was going to try to do. So right here in this one tag, you've got just about everything. It's all okay. here. It's all here. This is number one. It's got the. Um, it has gesso. It has two layers of wash out. It has a funsel marker on it. It has dots of acrylic paint around. And then, if you can see, I use the oh. dimensional Mod Podge. But I had to dump some. You can see it right here on my thing where I had it. Because <laughs> and I, dip into it. A dip into it. Because the little nozzle. Remember, it somehow or other, the little nozzle had been. It's a little, it goes like this. See, look at it in there. <laughs> oh, you chopped it off more. So more comes out. No, you did. Remember, because it was bent I, over and it wouldn't come out at all. Well, I trimmed it. I didn't think I trimmed it that much. Well, you, I, I didn't. You've done no further trimming. I did no further trimming. I okay. was only relying on your original trimming. So what I do is I just squeeze it out here and use a toothpick. Okay. And it's much more accurate that way but look at those lovely little dots on here then the quote that's going to go on here is the one about uh dew on the tip of a leaf or some something like oh, that that's lovely all right so i painted on okay first of all i did the uh bring it into you a little bit toward like when i say bring it into you this is this bring it into you me yeah, it would be, yeah, but not that much. And usually, we, yeah, perfect, spot on. Okay, so I put down the light molding paste by Golden. They sent us this. Can I tell you something nicely? Yes. Or something nice? Susanna says, I've been watching the making of the book since day one. At first, I thought, what is P doing, doing with what? I've been amazed with your work. P not only for Patricia but plus for patience, etc. I um, know uh, I, I I do get impatient sometimes, but mm. sometimes if I just temper that back and remember that it doesn't all have to get done oh, in hi, one Diane, day. Hi Diane and bye. Um, then it, th thank you. And Christy you says, look at P look look at how good P is showing us in the technology. That was before I started yelling at you about, you know, needing to move it in and out. <laughs> Thank you, Christy. She's getting emotional about her book. I am getting emotional. I I I have a deep emotional attachment to this book. Well, you should. It's what you've been working on for uh 2 months. Some might even call that 8 weeks. It was more than 8 days. I, I'm big on 8 I'm hoping we don't go eight months. No, God, no. I mean, it might still be popping up around then because she'll be like, oh, I found another tag and I did this and it was perfect. Well, that could still happen, yeah. but that doesn't count. No. That's after the fact. That's All right. So, I put down this. <clears throat> and then I did something else and I, oh, I know. I thought, oh, that's just so boring. I'm going to just cover it up with the, um, and I used... A copper that was a little heavier than I, I needed it to be, and it just made everything That's copper. Even. It was terrible. So then I took and <laughs> and put, covered it up with tissue paper. <laughs> that, 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 and, that's kind of like one of your, it's like gesso or <laughs> tissue paper. What does this require to like get rid of this thing that's happening? Because I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. It ain't making me happy. And I need a new surface. <laughs> I need to do something. And... <laughs> And so then I put the tissue paper down. Well, that really did a great job. It obliterated almost everything. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, the copper looked um, like poopy brown. So then I went over it all with this purple. And that was working out pretty well. Yeah. But 
wasn't defining the leaf, so I had to come in with the colored pencil and darken in. And this is in between layers of clear texture gesso. Because I'm trying, what I was trying to do is I was trying to match, and you know, this is a bit of a whip. Ooh, especially if it's dark already, and then you're trying to bring it up to a and, lighter. And I want to match these leaves here to this. Okay, I want you to see what happened here. Mm -hmm. You can see. <laughs> Here's the transformation. Here's the transformation. So then I got, I, I, I tried it with colored pencils first, and you can see. It what? was pretty, didn't work so well. No. Even after two coats of the texture gesso. <laughs> Two coats of texture gesso and things weren't happening. <laughs> weren't happening. Were not happening. So then I decided, well, I'm going to mix up and then matching this, I mean, I think I did a splendid job oh, yes. there. I mean, it's not spot on everywhere. Well, again, even though it is fairly opaque paint and whatnot that you're talking about, you were on going on top of darker colors. Yes. that was That's going to matter. And that's going to show through somewhat, as you can see right there. Yeah. But I already had that down, and I I, I wanted it to hurry up and dry so I could do <laughs> the dimensional. That is also something key. Uh, probably a little extra patience, and she probably could have just, you know, you, but you kept butzing with it. Yes. If I just allowed it to dry <laughs> at some point and, yes. and left it alone long enough. Uh -huh. But I love this side. I just love this side. And so I thought, well, I've got this going on over here. I've got some leftover paint there. Let's make sure that the back somehow has, pardon me, something to do with the front. <laughs> Novel idea. Novel. So I made little, little dotty things here, and then I went around them with the um, really mm -hmm. small funsel marker. Boy, right, and you've got to sh shake the bejesus out of those things in order that they don't just come out, you know, gooey clear. Yeah. Well, if, if they've been sitting for a while, yeah, yeah. That is true. But I'll tell you, those funzels for the price, so if you need a white, if you're, you know, if you're into Posca, whatever, go Posca, but, or if you already have them. But if you just need a white marker and then you want ones in various tip sizes, those funzels are the way to this go. This is the way to go. And that's on our Amazon shop. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm totally. They come in black and, I, I don't have the metallics though. I'm just like. I, some markers need to be moved out before I make that. Uh, and I, I don't. But I did use I them. I don't really like them anyway. I, I did use some of them um, when we were in Baltimore. So they, they're wonderful. Because I think Kathy had some. Oh, here. And I put my little brush in there. Yeah, I she did. Now that. it's got a little because curve now to it. It's, I'll have to put some paper on it and allow it to dry. This is the little brush that I made the dots with. And it's just a little cheapy brush. I'm a it's got a plastic handle, so I'm assuming it didn't, you know, break the bank. Uh-huh. And, uh... Oh, what? Darcy's been using her funzel markers. And Mo put the link in. Thank you so much, Mo. Okay, this is what you do when your little brush, you know, you, you've left it in the water. <laughs> you make a little you bandage a, for it. You make a little bandage, a little cigarette. You talk to it and you say, I'm so sorry. Spit on it a little bit. Put, put a little spit on it. And then allow it to dry like that, and it will come back out and it'll be pointed and nice again. Mm -hmm. You won't be mad at yourself. Okay, so I, I thought that that was pretty cool. I am going to, um, and you can you see also here a little bit of shiny stuff? Yeah, very nice. That was the uh, one of those color shift things. I made a color shift. Oh, grommet. Uh, a hole punch thing. Uh, hold on. So your color shift stuff you kind of did on the inner, like. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See the sh see the sh I thought you were talking. Yeah, I thought you were talking about the dimensional stuff. Oh, the dimensional like stuff. Like you said, it has a little bit of everything. This has a little bit of everything, <laughs> and that plus the job printing, uh -huh. stamping, mm -hmm. colored pencil, uh, heat emboss. Heat? No, it doesn't. But, I mean, you went with the dimensional stuff, so. I went with the dimensional. Yeah. Which is, you know. It's, it's the like poor, the cold version. Poor man's version of. It's, um, it's the cold version. <laughs> yeah. That you don't have to worry about burning yourself with the wine. Yeah. <clears throat> but I, I, I'm pretty proud of this because it does exemplify a lot of different things. So there, you can really see that iridescence right there. 
And I could come back and hit that again. Pretty much, Christy. With the iridescence. And also, I can come in and I'm going to add some of the dimensional Mod Podge to the leaf. But I wanted to do a little bit more pencil work up there. I've started in doing some of it. But um, just a little bit more of that before I decide where to put the dimensional Mod mm -hmm. Podge on that one. Okay. Then, more colored pencil. Oh, that was that, well done. This is kind of one that's had a well, lot of... I don't know what... Oh, that's just little pieces of string you goo. <laughs> there. Okay. <sighs> colored pencil and coats of... Clear gesso. Clear gesso. Texture gesso. And I went ahead and did that. I was a little worried about this marker that I used. And you can see the colored pencil here. And remember, this was from some of the napkin, yeah, did the you, kitchen towel. So the marker that you used, was that one of the Tombows? Um, no, it wasn't because I, I don't want to use those. They're, That's a Tombow. The, the Tombows are not permanent. That is correct. The, the Stedler yeah. ones are. It is. And this is a piece of stuff that Marcia sent me. This is from off the tag that Lynn gave me out at the art. Uh, show mm -hmm. and this is a piece of stuff I picked up on the ground out at the art show <laughs> she put it and then box. this is from a packaging of something from Izzy for Izzy for Izzy mm -hmm. yeah but I I think that that little bit of pencil work and creating this motion here you know this kind of in, encapsulating circular motion here mm -hmm. and bringing in more of the purples that weren't there originally covering up some of it now when I turn it can you see yeah how it has that holographic stuff there but it, now it's not screaming at you that you know that's the only thing yeah, that you, you want to tapped look. it back yeah tapped it back but this is um, I think this it, it looks like fabric that uh, it's so cool gel print that Marsha sent and I don't know it had it had because I gessoed this side and this side, I didn't want to gesso, but because I was, you know, dragging her around here, some got on the back, it's of just course. It's going to happen. Yeah. And do still need to kind of work on the edges on some of these. And uh, I, I will show you some of them. I, I have already done that. All right. The next one. New addition here. Are y'all enjoying this? It's tweaky talk is really what this says. Tweaky because, talk. I mean, yeah. if you understand, like, that's why I was asking her, well, how long did that take you? I mean, this is hours. Oh, yeah. Hours of just little. And, and this one was a five minute -er. This was a, a, ra <coughs> a rake off and then. Um, yeah, uh, but you've now done that thing. Yeah, that's true. I mean. Yeah, okay, very much so. They're enjoying this. Yep, eight okay. days. <laughs> Eddie says. So, do you remember this? It did not have this leaf here. Right. This was all open up here. I just felt like it needed something, but I kept putting, you know, auditioning things to put down there. Oh, sorry. She's pushing me. Did you see that? <laughs> auditioning things to put down here, and nothing really clicked with me until, you know, I think what happened is I threw all these together and these leaves just happened to come out lying down on top of this. And I'm like, voila, there it is. The universe was saying, this is what the your universe. daughter was trying to tell you. Yes. But I didn't just stop there. Once I got that leaf down, I thought, I need to make a connection with the leaf and the background. So what I did is wherever there was some of this spilly, this is actually gesso, um, and it didn't take the staining sometimes it doesn't so all I did is I just took colored pencil and kind of pulled in and made it look like it was sort of this lost and found yeah it, it it's coming across it is having an impact on the surface of the leaf rather than just having the leaf floating right a little bit more purple here to really kind of you know nail it I put some more white up here because that seemed to be really dark and pulling the eye off. So I wanted to round it and bring it back in here. And so that you can have this motion of coming back in and around. 
down here on the little little word tag, I brought in some and broke up the edges there. I like to that. make it look like you know it's a little bit worn. I put a little bit more of this blushy pink here on the edge here because I thought, well, you know, it needs some relationship. Mm -hmm. And then down here, took and put a little bit more. And it's like that tag that Jennifer McKinnon sent, and we were like, because we were so impressed that it looked like it was just like a like a printable or something, but and she had worked it to where, like, I mean, it actually, like, that's yeah. the way it is. Yeah, here, this is the one that we're <clears throat> talking about. We thought... I think you were very, like, that feels like I think that maybe you know and this is the thing you you have an idea that is and, and at the time when you're looking at it you're really not even thinking thinking about it but I did take my finger I and did Mariah too. said she did the same thing it was so funny because I saw her do it and I said oh my god I did that too and just the fact that she did that before she glued these down somehow or other registered in my brain and then I came up with mm -hmm. this but look how lovely these look together. yeah they're friends they really, they really, really are. And I, I, I love, the, I love notes. When you write me notes, I, I, I love, I love the notes. Yes. Um, yeah. So that, that's what's going on here. Also along the edge here, this was a little bit, and it may be even a little bit more uh stronger than i want it to be hold that up into the technology a little further in there and that way they can kind of is that is that yeah. good perfect right here i wanted to break up that strong line that occurred when it got glued down because this is a cut edge yep this is a torn edge this is a great example you know if you don't want that i don't mind it here in fact i think it's kind of cool yeah that it comes down into the tree but I don't necessarily think it needs to do that all the way up. Yeah. Yeah. Joni says your expla explanation P is really interesting and in how to create a good composition. Beautiful. Well, you know I have the three thing. And see, I was missing that third element there. Missing that third element. And that's what happened on the cards that I did today mm -hmm. that I had Mariah do the leaves on. You had, you, we now have three leaves. And I don't know, in my brain, that just, um, that just really is what, oh, bless you. Listen, isn't that a cute little sneeze? <laughs> Mine would have blown this tag across the table. Oh, no. Okay, there it went. All right, see that how, how that tiny little, tiny little detail there suddenly takes it to a whole different uh -huh. level. I, I think that that's okay. I, I'm going I don't know if this is like a weird, um, just a cold thing that I got going on or some allergy business. <clears throat> All a right. mix. I haven't done anything to the back of this except what originally was there. Yeah. And all I did over here is write the uh, quote. Dim veils and shadowy floods and cloudy looking woods whose forms we can't discover, or the tears that drip all over, huge moons wax and wane, again, again, again. Edgar, he would probably say, again, again, again. Edgar <laughs> Allan Poe from Fairyland. And even though that there's not fairies on here, oh, I, I think... like this idea of here's the moon. No, and I think your book has some, I mean, you got the... It has some uh, fantasy the, feel to it. The mushrooms. I mean, it could get a little, you know, dark fairies, mean fairies. Yeah. They're yeah. not all nice. Yeah. Sprites. Yeah. You know, steal your booze. <laughs> <laughs> it is all that we see or seem but a dream within a dream. Edgar Allan Poe. I'm not finished with this tag yet because I think really what I want to come in and do with it is I want to take my texture gesso and um, have y'all seen that color in all of these areas around the leaves. Now you can see this is the same mix that we did today. Yes. And you can especially see it down here. I just love, I don't know what happened here, but this is the greatest one ever. That too, 
I have no idea how that happened. None. Mm. None Zs. See, Susan says, yeah, most fairies aren't nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I have been working on the edges, obviously not on that one. Mm. I talk about that at a different, at a different time. Okay. I don't know what that is. I'll have to take care of that. <laughs> Colored pencils are absolutely the best ever. And one of the reasons I like using them is because a lot of times if your glue seeps out on the edge, it doesn't color with the paint worth fiddly. Especially the watered down paint. Uh, and the colored pencils, see that? And then we've got this little I do it with the, I do it with the markers. Mariah does it with the markers. Either Posca's, uh, Chocolas, or the alcohol ink markers. Those are my, you know, go-to. And sometimes that stupid <laughs> nipper. <laughs> it don't nip all the it way. It don't nip all the way, and it leaves that little burr there. Yeah. Usually that's because whomever cut the thing <laughs> did not cut it square. The little burr is a indication, an oh, indicator. Hefty poo. Anyway, you just sand that burger off. Yeah. Now, once you sand it off, it's you've got a pretty good chance of the uh, paint taking. Yeah. But see, look at that. That's FP. You couldn't do any any better with anything else. Right. Right there. Uh huh. Now, it does kind of screw up your pencils, and you have to... Yeah, they, they get a weird little, you know, the... See, a little... Notches. Notches. They've been notched. There's notches in your in your belt. Mm-hmm. Now, on the leaves, I will tell you what I did. I laid them down here, and you can tell. Can you <laughs> jo see Joni, edges? Joni says that she has that same problem with the nippers. The, they leave a little burr on the edge? See, it just yeah. isn't me, Mariah. <laughs> and, you know, I, I don't know what's wrong with that. I don't either. It's just, you know, move along. Scoot, scoot it over there. It's just fascinating stuff. We're holding the retention of, oh, no, a few more dropped off. What is it? <laughs> Am I in the right spot? You're in a fantastic spot. I'm just watching, you know, the numbers drop on the viewers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> While I do the edges with uh -huh. the Fascinating. So you know, like, it's oh like vacuuming. It's a fun thing to do if you're doing it, but if you're not, if you're, or just... at least if you're doing it, you should be more entertaining while doing it. Uh, well, I don't. <laughs> sorry, I didn't have some <laughs> wonderful little story to yes. regale you all with at that point in time. <laughs> That's right. All right. So, all right. I'm still. I still have not found. I'm challenging you all. I have not found the Buddha. quote that works. Oh, for Buddha. With. with the Bodhisattva Buddha here. So please email me. I yeah, don't like email me. I, I, I don't even, I, I can't get into my email right now. I That's loved what Lygia did because I was able to just print it off and send it upstairs to this one. Yeah, see, look, and here, here it is. Mm -hmm. And then here, here's what I do, and I know I, I explained this last time if there may be somebody here. What I do is I write it out here, and see, you can see how I've got the vague shape of it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. If, so that I don't I, know if Lygia wants her. You know, you could fold that or what. No. Oh. And then I wrote down my Edward Gorey. Just know that your information might be. You know. I, I'm. I've still got to write this one out too, but I need a little bit more room. Yes. For this one, so I may have to make another tag for this, or just <laughs> you know use it another time. Anyhow, I really appreciate this. Lygia a lot and and uh, I, I will put that in with the other stuff in, in the book. Mm -hmm. All right now and I do I have a quote for this it's, it's, it's the, the do one and I am going to work some more on this and I will get the names on here. Oh Raven says Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha the triple gem. Oh So, something to think about there. And she'd actually mentioned that before, I believe. Did you mention that in the comments? 
I know I read that before. You got 30 minutes. I don't know what you're going to do. Do you want oh, okay. To... I, I need, I need, a, especially for this one, and I think that's part of my problem right now, is the quotes that I have that would go with this won't fit. They I'll... need to be pretty. So if you just put Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha on there. Yeah. And Triple Gem. That's a thought. Okay. She's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm interviewing. I'm interviewing. I'm she's uh, she's gonna ruminate on that. I'm going to ruminate on that. I'm auditioning that thought. Oh, of course, Sherry. Of course. Okay. Now I did have something else I wanted to do today, and uh, wonderful. <coughs> get rid of this stuff. <coughs> you need a drop. I've got, I've got one handy here. <coughs> Good gosh, I'm sorry. I got it. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay. Frick cola. Thank you. Okay. Get rid of that. I don't need my colored pencils up here. Oh, I did get my uh, new gel plate. Has a... Oh, yeah. We got her for plexiglass. And... We have rocks outside, too. All right, all I'm ha papers. handing the nipper back to you. So Brad can actually walk to the thing without, hopefully, walking through dog. I swear, if that dog poops on a stone, I'm come. You're you're dealing with it. You know, that is just so I'm, rude. Do you know how many of Mazzy's poopies I picked up? And she's not my dog either. Well. This is our family, a member of the family, and you take care of members of the family. Here's the deal. He goes, like, right there at the edge because he's... He's I, old and he can't see, you know? He, he like does when, well. Nathan, Here's you know, the thing. He's he does well. He can go up and down these stairs. No, problem. well, I mean, he's just chubby. Part of the problem is he's chubby. <laughs> but he does not like to go further than the step. I mean, he takes like he doesn't really like to walk on grass. He has that's why I'm a saying if he poops, uh -huh, if he poops on those, he's sensitive. He's sensitive. You, you should understand that. It's not be ugly to mm -hmm. This will, karma will come back and bite you in the okay. Bum. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I've already got some mucky muck stuff on this. <laughs> Susan says if it's not in the house, it's in the right spot. There you go. Well, if it's Thank raining you. outside. Oh, yeah, he's he's not. He's a very finicky little puppy. He well, was, he's not pu well, we would puppy. take him for, and this was even before, I mean, when he was still, you know. He's particular. Running around. Mm -hmm. the dog, we would go to this one park, and it had this kind of a, an indentation. It wasn't a ditch, but when the snow started melting, it met, created a puddle, and you'd have to jump across it and everything. Okay, so here's the retrievers are running up and down through the mud and just covered. No, not this little one. He's probably like oh my God. bullets standing, and he he was <laughs> watching. Him, then he moved back a little bit because they splashed him a little bit, <laughs> and then he very briskly walks around <laughs> the edge of the like oh my God the puddle. Yeah. He's a little bit diva. He 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 does. He's, he's paw sensitive. He, okay, now where are my? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sit right here. I'm kind of having to read <laughs> my pile. <laughs> the leaves are looking great, Mariah. Susan, see, we're learning things about everybody today. What? So she has to do poop patrol every day. She has one that likes to back up to the bushes. Backs up to the bushes? Mm -hmm, I guess, you know. It's like sneaky poops. And then I'm sure, like, as soon as, like, you're walking by, like, in the bushes or whatever, it's all smelling aromatic. Now, this one, this one likes to just take two steps off the deck. And what's crazy is because he's right on the path to, you know, the to the tandem and to Izzy's trampoline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but just... 
you know, awareness. Mm -hmm. Okay, before I start Jeopardy, I want okay. to show the book that Alice, Alice sent. Because I, I, then I won't have a bunch of stuff out here to get goofy. It's a very All cool right. cover. Isn't it? This is the young man. He died when he was 22 years old. He was in the... Um, my son, Dan Eldon, a Reuters photographer, was stoned to death in Somalia. Oh, geez. In July 1993 by a mom re mob reacting to the United Nations bombing raid on the suspected headquarters of General Muhammad Farid Adi. He was only 22 when he died. Oh. That's and, a downer. Uh, his photographs... Okay, Dan had already achieved prominence for his work as a war photographer, but his pho photographs only told half the story. The other half lay hidden away in 17, he was only 22, black bound journals filled with collages, writings, drawings, and photographs. I was intensely proud of what I was allowed to see in the pages of Dan's journals, but I never could understand why he confined his artistic expression to the inside of books. Often I would ask him to produce works I could put on my walls, but Dan would always refuse, sometimes quite indignantly, and return to his black-bound black journals, books he shared with only the closest friends or family. Well, there you go. I know. That, and, I think uh, that that's kind of hits on uh, our, our group and kind of some of how we like to operate. And, you know, just randomly thumbing through here. Oh, there are little places that have little cards. Oh, that's There's cool. even one that has like an envelope with something inside of it. But it's his writings. It's his artwork. Isn't I love this little Tabasco bottle down here? You know, see here this glassine envelope? Oh, wow. I know. That is it, a cool book. It is just a Thank absolute you, Alice. delight. And I mean, you know, it, it's visually delightful. And then if you read some of the things that he writes, he's just, uh, he, what a charming young man. <laughs> he grew, he, he, he was born in London, but moved to Nairobi when he was a young, very, like in his early teens. Mm. And um, made some adjustments to things. But I think he must have been a terribly, and I think this is probably his sister went with him on a lot of these, um, a lot of his journeys. Old Land Rover. Look at these pictures. Aren't they wonderful? Well, you know I love looking at other people's pictures. But this is an, oh my God, isn't that a wonderful photograph? It is. Okay, you have 20 minutes. Okay, all right. I'll oh, shut up. Anyway. <laughs> wonderful book. I just, I, I'm finding, but, and I, I had it found this morning, but then I really <laughs> wanted to find some Lord. more Lord. Then you got me all emotional. Little. It's not very nice to do kind of warn people. Well, where's the dead gum one? Oh, here it is. All right. Now, you notice, I'm pretty sure this is the one I used, Mariah. I mean, it looks like the one that's been used. All right. I'm pretty sure this is the one I used. To it's got lime green on it, and it's got the it's pinky got, color. Yeah. All right. All right. So, but that's not the one I want to use today. The one I want to use today is this one. This reminds me of fabric. <coughs> and I just, I, I, I really, I, I have this idea and I'm hoping that this happens. I'm hoping this materializes like I want. Yeah, I, 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 need to I get know, Susan, she's killing me. <laughs> <laughs> I need a, oh. <coughs> Do you want a cough drop? <laughs> uh, 
I'll just have a little bit of my lemon water in my kombucha bottle. Okay. So I think you call this fabric jacquard. Um. Where it has the... Um, it's printed, but they've... The, the way that... It's not printed. The way that it was woven creates a a texture kind of business going on there. I want to use this lighter, more transparent um, just because I want I want to achieve that. I, I want to have that. Okay, and I want to address Margie. Is Margie here? Yes, I think so. I mean, she was there earlier. Margie, okay. still here? Margie, when you get ready to use your, don't be afraid to use some dad gum paint, sweetheart. You can't suddenly decide you need some more paint because this stuff is drying as you're opening up the thing to get some more paint on there. All you're doing is just creating another layer, which is going to cause some problems or not, <clears throat> depending. Don't be afraid to get some paint on there. And don't dilly-dally around with your brayering. Get after it like a biting sow. There's the link. I didn't put it in the full title. <clears throat> but, Paula, there's oh, the link. Oh, it's from Half Price Books, by the way, Well, that too. one did, but I put it in the Amazon, which it's on sale, and it's hardcover. That's a really, like, $34 is not a bad price for a No, hardcover but I, book. I would check Half Price Books first. Okay, this is not nearly as shimmery sheer as I wanted, but I think I can make it work. I'm just going to take a lot off. This one's trippy whenever she moves it around because it's one of those, like, repeat pattern things that it's all trippy trying, in the camera. I'm trying to make this not muss up here. Okay, don't muss it up. Don't muss it up. I want to see what happens <clears throat> because what I anticipate here is those little teeny tiny holes don't come through very well you're gonna have a hard time getting those to come up I want you to know it can be done but you're going to have to work at it you gotta work it girl work it and do you see how I'm, I'm starting in the middle and coming to the outside that way I'm not getting my paper bunchy now sometimes I don't care if it's bunchy but in this particular case, I kind of, I, I, I want it not to be. Mm -hmm. And I want to get in there. So, I mean, I am taking this, this towel and I am rubbing the bejesus out of this. To get down there into those orifices. And also, this is a brand new stencil. So, the back side, I'm hoping I'm going to get some interesting. Um, Look at you. But see? Little tiny dots. Little tiny dots, and some places not. I just wanted people to know that as, you know, a, a warning. Okay, now what you can do is you can take your brayer, and all I'm doing is I'm removing paint. I'm not getting more on there. I'm removing paint, and it's sticking to the brayer. Yeah, and you need to move along. Very cool. Something to keep in mind here. What you are seeing happens more so when it's, it is brand new. It, 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 it isn't, it isn't going to be there forever. Unless you super clean Unless your Unless you stencils. clean your stencil and, and really wash it up each time. That's not... Oh, but you got a twofer. I got a great... Dragging it through the paint there. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, pounce or uh, you know, flop off. Dot dot sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, turn this over. That's cool. All right, we're gonna let that dry all the way, even though, because you can see it's really I used a lot of paint. It's kind of that cheap paint, so it's gonna do that. And. Just know ahead of time, you can't always predict exactly. Your cheaper paints are probably going to be more prone to the cellularization effect that you see here. 
I don't. It's so hard to say that. It the, just, uh, but it just the depends. other thing is, it's a viscosity. If if it's really runny, depends it's gonna on, it's more, more likely going to do that. Well, and if you haven't really shaken it up a lot, and it's, I did shake it up a lot. I banged it on the thing. <laughs> she banged. She bangs. Anyway, there are multiple factors. Yes, and this is very true. It isn't a it isn't a one yeah. one um, off thing. All right. Is this the new one? No, that was the new one. What? Your new your new plexiglass. Oh, I haven't. Oh, I haven't used it yet. Mm. Did you I, like that it was a little wider? I did very much so because it gives me a thumb hold. Yeah. That other one I kind of struggle with. Yeah. Okay, so we've got this, and you can see this because it, it puffs. It does. See how it kind of, like, pillowy. Pillowy. So what you might think about when you're doing this, if you want to get that pillowy effect and you want to maintain that, because if I put this down and, and I want to get another coat on it, the pillowy is going to go away. No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's it's going to be gone. So that's just something to think about. Okay. <laughs> what? What? I love Paula. Paula, we love you. <laughs> what did pa Paula say? And she says she bangs. Ricky, here I go with my arthritic hip and three glasses of Pinot. I'm committed to the cause. <laughs> that's what we love about you. We like commitment. We do. <laughs> it's an admirable trait. Uh huh. All right, put my little hoopty brush back up there. I've got to remember to stop putting that in the in the hoopty doo. Okay, here we go. Now what we're going to do is is when I told you about you know the clean out liquid. I'm hoping I can get it to more or less fixate in those little holes, like some hole fixation. This is. And I'm going to do something I don't usually do. I'm going to leave this stencil on here. You know that's a terrible idea. I know, but here's my thinking. This is loosey-goosey enough and thin enough. I don't think it's going to pull it. All right, Mariah's shaking her head. She's a disbeliever. I'm a disbeliever. She's a disbeliever we're going to see. Well, we'll find out in the next stream. You will find out in the next stream because it won't dry. We'll see you on Tuesday. All right, you see or how sorry, you see Thursday. about how loosey goosey this is. All right, so we know that it's going to do the little granulations just readily. You see it? It's cellularization. Cellularization. Maximum. <laughs> but what I'm thinking is, even though <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> I'm going to try to get as much off of here as I possibly can because I think I'll have a better chance of it not pulling up. Uh -huh. And I don't know if it's staying in the little holes or it not. It is very watery. Did you add extra water or something? No. Just super watery. I don't know. I might have on that one. <laughs> I'm just scooting it around. <laughs> yes, she is. Scooting it around until I can get it, you know... Kind of, sort of. <sighs> Making some really cool <laughs> brayer off stuff here. That's good. Something's coming of this. <laughs> Ye of little faith. I, I am, I am, I am little faithing. She's little faithing. Mm-hmm. Well, I think it's sticking to the stencil very nicely. Yeah, I mean, look at that. <laughs> so, maybe what we need to be doing is we need to be approaching this from the other direction, you know. No, I don't. I... Let's see if we can get a flop off here. I, yes. Yes, Mariah says. Uh-huh. Well, I need to, I don't think. That's going to be too terribly interesting. Orange on orange. And really, I think if you just did a lay down rather than flop off, just lay something down on it. I mean, it's still a flop off, but. 
You don't want to be flopping all this wetness around. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. It's kind of reversed. <laughs> really, the gel plate's just holding the stencil in place. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Y'all want to know how to get the lines? There you go. There you go. That's how you do now, it. Now, here, what? I'm going to I'm gonna give it another little go here. Yeah. A little dis more distressed layer of it. It, it seems to really want to stick to that. Yeah, now, it's loving the stencil. Now, you again, know why? Because brand it's new. Paint on it. Yupo. It loved the Yupo. Mm hmm. This is really more flop on because it's too wet to be flopped off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you learned it here, by golly. Yeah. Where else have you watched anybody, you know, put down their paint in order to get uh, an image? And the little, look how well the little dots showed up here. Certainly not in this way. Maybe. I don't know. Let us know. <laughs> well, this is kind of... It's drying up. I told you this, so yeah. I was going to be more distressed. <laughs> Very distressed. Non-existent, and, and non-existent on the plate. And there's just really not a whole lot going on. I mean, there's some. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that just like that, and I'm going to use um, a quinacridone, uh -huh. the Blick acrylic, and, and just, you know, get, get down in there, and we're going to pick it up. Yeah. Get down there on it. You got eight yeah. minutes to get down there on it. I have it. what? Eight minutes. Oh, uh, well. Lots of things can happen. In well, I know. Minutes. We still need to, you know, do the little thing at the end. Do are y'all enjoying the little thing at the end, or should I just take a picture of her at the end? Like, you know, once we're off. Let me know. If y'all are enjoying us, like, you know, trying to set up for the screen grab, or if I should just take a picture of her. Because I could do that, too. I want to get down in the holes as much as I possibly can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm getting a lot of granulation here, which, I don't know, I've noticed that with the blicks sometimes. Yeah, those blicks, because uh, they're fluids, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and that, that's okay. It's very humid. I mean, or it is more humid than usual, I think. That will play into it some. Somewhat. Now, careful with that whole floppy off. Now, that's a true flop off there because she pulled it off and then yeah. flopped it. And, and this is when you get into it, trouble yeah, with it the is. paper. If you don't, and, oh, it was Hear already it? starting to stick. Can you feel it? Oh, Can you oh. feel it? Oh! The drama. The drama. <laughs> and it's now you saw how quickly I got that off of there. Yeah. That was starting to stick. Oh, why are we? And it Hold was on. not. It was not going to be a, a pretty situation. All right, I'm letting that dry. Hold on, it froze on us. It froze. I think on it us? freaks out whenever you. Oh, go wild with the. It does, and I don't really understand that. I'm just going to take those edges right now and clean them up. It's just going to make it for a cleaner print. I'm going to hold on because we're still. And there's. Oh. It's still frozen. Because of my flopping around? Yeah, because you're flopping around. Sorry. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I'm going to flip it over to something else and then flip it back and see if it, you know, wakes it up or whatever. <laughs> Go to sleep? Sleep or what its deal is. Don't, don't. There we go. Look at me making things happen. There we go. We're back. Sorry, my my flailing about there caused all that anguish. <laughs> I need to look that up. 
Okay, Margie would like to know when using wet streak tissue, which side is better to use? Okay, well, I, it depends on what you're doing, but remember when I talked about 2024 when I did the my impasto. impasto onto the tissue paper? I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. And I got the zero on the slick side. Yeah. And it went down and looked completely different than the others that were all on the. Uh, and that is the mat side and that's exactly right Darcy says so Kylie Koo did a video on it and um, I don't even th I think at the end of that video or whatever she talked about it basically that she hadn't really noticed much of a difference and I'd say like when, and for uh, most things I don't either but for this particular thing yeah. it just hit me all of a sudden that's why that looks di that one uh -huh. looks different and that, I mean, you know, what? that's going to be something you do once in five million. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, <sighs> Sorry. She's a squeaky, she's a squeaky one. Okay. <laughs> going to let that dry. That's right. I think that's going to be very interesting. I, I'm thinking about mm. pulling it with orange. <laughs> I think that's a fabulous idea. Okay. It, it's still wet. All right. And, and Eddie says he does like us. He does like watching the little bit at the end. You know, when we, like, figure out the screen grab. Oh, well, well I have to get some good stuff here today. Yeah. Let's let's audition some things real quick. We got three minutes. Okay. Audition. I, I really like my gold stuff. But I think you got to hold up some of the tags because you yammer yammered about tags. Oh, my like, gosh. For a majority of this. To, yeah. I, think I need to do a tag talk. A fan, a fan uh -huh. thing. Okay, shall I go side by side just in case it gets good? Let's go side by side. I'm gonna fluff my hair again. Still not. I didn't. I don't know. I just don't. And I don't know why this doesn't like. I'm going to warm my light on her face, but she'll be angry about this just like. <laughs> oh, you need to hold these leaves, Mariah. Okay, well, give me some leaves to hold. Okay. Yeah? And we both have purple on. Mm-hmm. I'll dangle these leaves. Oh, and look, I'll make sure pointy. my sleeve's in. I'll get back a little bit. Is it, this is, this is my very coquettish look. Hmm. 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 Okay. <laughs> Enough of that. <laughs> I know, that's what I told you. Those leaves do look like wings. All right. Well, yippee ti yay yay. See. <laughs> Are you still doing it? I was, yeah, because I wasn't oh, real happy with like mine. The other one? But see, what's cool is because it's split, I can cut us in half. Or I've thought about um, just putting you on there, but I did do stuff today, so a split screen is good. Yeah, don't give that look. <laughs> I will make it. I will make it. Really? Do you? <laughs> I, I have power. <laughs> I will use it. Hey, Mariah. Uh-huh. This is hard rubber. Wow. Thank y'all for hanging out. It's kind of a weird stream today. Um, <laughs> you know. Oh, I just love this paper. It's all pillowy. You want to lay on it and be friends with it. Rub it. So, there we go, guys. We will be back here on Thursday. Do you know what you're doing on Thursday? Well, we're going to, she'll do some things with the stuff that she already did, so you'll see those again. I'm sure there'll be some more tag talk. Um, what else? Yeah, because I still have, I, well, I'm still waiting for my, uh, you know, I've got, I have some um, people, or some quotes auditioning, but I, I'm, I'm still. Oh, not. yes, email us quotes if you, because she needs some different or, things. She's thinking about the one for the Buddha one, but yeah. 
And I think, really, I've got something for everybody else. Okay, I'm shutting this thing down. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> I might need something.